This is Ray with uh, Jade Investment. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I had a, <clears throat> a request to do a, a, a video about uh, screening a tenant. Uh, it's at a Cuz 63, I believe that's what he goes by. Um, he asked if I could go ahead and do a video for him because um, he got out of rental properties because of uh, tenants tearing up the properties. Um, and I, I, I do understand that part and that's why it's so important to screen your tenants. Um, my mistake was to purchase a duplex right now that I put purchased a year ago, about a year and a half ago. Uh, it had tenants in it already and bad tenants. Uh, one side is already was destroyed, but you can go back and look at my videos and you'll see how it was destroyed and then you'll see uh, the repairs that we did. Completely remodeled it. Uh, now we're having issues with the other side, the other tenant, and that's a whole different video that I can do. Uh, evictions and the process and uh, it's a lengthy process um, so let's, if you're not a subscriber go and hit that subscribe button uh, I do these videos for you so you can learn from it as well as me is learning from you guys so uh, I, I appreciate your feedback so here let's get started screen screen and then screen some more I mean you cannot screen enough uh, and here are the criteria that we do but remember you cannot discriminate. Um, race, color, national origin, sex, religion, familial status, disability, sexual orientation, even gender identity. So if they tell you they're a cow, you can't tell them they're not a cow. But I'm just letting you know, you can't tell them that. So go with it. It's not that you're accepting that they're a cow or anything, but hey, that's what they want to identify themselves at. That's, uh, that's on you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Your eviction history. You're gonna check your eviction history. If they even have one eviction, if, I mean, that should be a, a no. Reason why? Because if they had an eviction, they're gonna do it again. It doesn't matter if it's five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, they are going to do it again. That's just, that's just because if they didn't have that eviction, they would've been okay to go ahead and get out when you tell them to go ahead and move out, whether it's cash for keys, which is something I offered also on this one. Uh, offer them, I'll give you a month's rent and your, your deposit for you to go and, and rent somewhere else. As long as you vacate the property, we're good. Uh, and of course they refuse it. So that right there, if they have an eviction, that's a no. Uh, here's the deal. You have to have your rent criteria. It's gotta be written down. That way if somebody ever takes you to court and wants to sue you saying that you discriminated, you can go down this and show them, no, this has been dated this time, and this is what I go by. So, criminal history. Uh, are you going to accept a felony? Misdemeanors, violent crimes. I mean, what, what is your criteria? Uh, mine will be a felony and violent crimes. Uh, misdemeanors. I mean, it could be, um, they got a, they were stealing something from a store. I mean, that, that would be a misdemeanor. Um, a PI, um, public intoxication, but that's not a misdemeanor either. Um, so a felony, I would say a no. Uh, violent crimes, a no. Uh, so your rental history. Uh, your rental history, what are you looking for? You're looking for, did they leave the property in good shape when they left? Um, did they destroy it? If they have damages, did they pay for them? Uh, were they late on their payments? Um, did they break the lease? Uh, did they threaten the property manager? Uh, even, and, and this is a big one also, is, is do they have lawsuits against the owner? I mean, do they have a lawsuit against the owner? Is there, what is the rental history? That's what you wanna look for, late payments damages to the property did they pay for the damages and so on that's what you're looking for in the rental history are they constantly late on the payments how many times did they break the lease uh, so then of course breaking the lease will go back to the eviction unless they accept a the cash for keys then you won't have an eviction but you'll have breaking the lease so that's what you want to look for um, income verification this is one that it needs to be three times the rent and the reason for is because 
you have some people out there that are so far in debt that they're barely making ends meet. So you want to make sure three times around. This might not be able to do it in, in New York, California, where the rain is extremely high. Uh, you might have to lower it down to two, two times rent. And in some of those places, it's illegal to do three times a rent. So you might want to check your local laws and, and state and see what that is. Um, your employment history. How long have they been on the job? Have they been there a year, uh, two years, 10 years? What, what is it? Uh, of course, you might have some uh, newlywed couple that just got out of the home and they just got married and they haven't been in the job for six months. So that's just something you're going to have to look at and see what, what that is. Um, your credit check. And what you want to do is check on your credit check. Is it a, uh, what is your criteria on your credit? Is it a, a, a 500? Do you want a 600? And of course, if it's a 700, you're not going to get that because if they had that, they're going to go buy a home. If they have this, they're going to go buy a home. So if they're in the 600, 500 is kind of bad, but you know, 600 is the, the, the good one. And then uh, credit check, are, are they late on payments? Uh, repos, uh, do they have any repos? Uh, they need charge-offs, um, charge-offs with the property manager. So in other words, this will go back because if you have charge-offs on, for instance, in this one, on the rental history, if they were late on payments, didn't pay, and they got evicted, you're gonna have charge-offs on here. If they did damages, the owner is gonna go after them for the damages, so this is going to be on here as well. So if you have that, then of course, that's a no. If you have any charge-offs, um, say they have a, if the credit is at 500, I would say a no. But you're looking at all this, all this has to go together. If they have, say for instance, employment history is only six months, nah, the income is two and a half times the rent, but everything else was good, that's something you're going to have to decide, hey, is, is this a good fit? You're not going to have all this perfect. And if you're looking for perfect, you're not going to have a, a tenant in there. And here's a big thing also. It's better to have a vacant property than to have a bad tenant in there. So don't get so desperate that you have multiple of these of, of X's at red flags and you're just desperate to put somebody in there and you let them in there now they're damaging your property and now they're not paying now you're gonna to have to go through eviction eviction is, is very expensive that's an expensive process it is cheaper to pay them that month's rent to get out than to go through the eviction um, in fact i'll do a, a, a video for eviction so you can see how expensive it is how costly it gets attorney fees your court costs your your property manager time i mean it goes on and on uh, so here's a quick thing know what to look for and what to see on the property manager um, another thing you want to inspect the current property that they're in so in other words you have an applicant that applies for it and you can tell them to go ahead uh, uh, do you mind if I go to your house and look at the place that you're living in right now and do a surprise check that say yes okay well then go up there and don't tell them what day you're going because then they clean up that property go on a day that they're not expecting you and just tell me, okay, I'll go up there. And you can head there that way, look at it, and if it's a mess or it's destroyed, that's how they're gonna keep your property. Look at their vehicle. Their vehicle tells a, a huge thing about them. If you look inside their vehicle uh, and it's dirty, their house is gonna be dirty. My vehicle is spotless. My house is spotless. It's the same way. I don't keep a dirty vehicle in a clean house. Both of them are clean. Now, the outside of the vehicle, of course, is going to be dirty. But the inside of the vehicle, if it's nasty, that is how they're going to keep their house. And that's how they're going to take care of your property. If you go inside that property and it's damaged, that's what they're going to do to your property. So that's a big plus. Is that be the number one thing right there is I will look at their current living conditions. So you can go from there and then start this process. Or go from this process and then go look at this that's fine always charge an application fee and I would recommend have another uh, company do the screening for you uh, they do screen they do it real quick and they'll just give you the facts here's all the information and then you can take that and look at it so that's why you charge application fee because you're gonna have to charge they're gonna charge you for that uh, 
uh, unless you want to do all this yourself, that's up to you. Uh, so I hope this helped. And um, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.